Illustrious Committee of Education sitting before me and its chair and members. Um, my name is Arnold Roblin. Usually I go by Arnie. Um, the um, Senate District 5 Senator, uh, which is part of the coast. Um, this is a really, really important bill, and I'm not going to get into all the particulars, but the idea of making sure that school districts have appropriate policies and training for people is really important. Um, and so what I decided to do was make this a little bit more personal and say that I, and most people know I was a dyslexic ADHD human being, and that endeared me to many children, did not endear me to many teachers. Um, and I had to figure out how to interpret the world. And part of that was that children, especially sixth through middle school, can be really cruel. And so I was one of those people who got harassed a bit um, because of the idea that they couldn't read and I was always in the lowest level classes. I went from middle, elementary school to the lowest level classes. I didn't even know they existed at the, high, at the middle school level. Um, it was a difficult time and I met a whole lot of people who I got to be really good friends with. Um, for me, I didn't have any of the ACES scores because my parents were really good and gave me opportunities to do things. Um, but middle school was really a challenge, and I thought I should be in all the advanced classes, and I wasn't, and I had to convince my parents to go into the school and tell them that I could do math and I shouldn't be in this class. And I, I eventually worked up to all advanced classes. And so I really felt part of my life in high school was interpreting the world for my new friends that were in the advanced classes and my old friends who were trailing along and who were harassed on a daily basis, verbally, by a lot of kids. Now, they grew up and they got to be stronger and I would tell people, you know, if you keep doing that to him, he's going to beat you up because that's the only tool he has in his toolbox to deal with you. Um, and so I spent a lot of time having opportunities to meet with and work with a lot of kids and I think it probably led me to be a teacher. Um, and so you feel like you learn skills as you're a kid and you go through experiences and you have parents that support you so you um, make your way out. And I look back at a lot of kids who are just as bright as me and just had as much opportunity who are not, they're back in my hometown, they're not seeing the potential I think that other people would have had uh, in large part and many times because of behaviors of other kids and others and uh, adults who didn't understand what was going on 